Hello everyone, this is Red Bomber Zero, and welcome to my, my manga collection. And today I'm going to give you a short little tip on collecting manga and how to prevent it from yellowing. So I'll we'll try to keep it brief, let's get into it. So basically what I want to talk about today is yellowing of the manga. Now it can be... No, short answer, it's, it's sunlight. It's from sunlight. So you can see my ruby manga, see the red one, slightly yellowed, some are a bit more white, yellow here. Uh, my Danganronpa manga, slight yellowing. Um, but this doesn't always happen, it usually depends on the paper quality. And the ones I'd be most worried about is my Elfin Lead books, because uh, it's a massive top and a massive yellow yellow tint on the top would look really bad. And also with my um, my Columbia Can't Communicate manga, because uh, the panels don't go all the way to the top. Uh, so it's all white here, so... It, if this was all yellow, it would stick out like a sore thumb. Um, this is least common with Yen Press manga because, well, because their paper quality is pretty high. Um, same thing with Ranma, like it's pretty white at the top. My slime manga, it's kind of yellow compared to the the second one. Um, yeah, well, not always for Yen Press because some of my Goblin Slayers are kind of yellow. Uh, this could this could happen like from the store. It probably wasn't even me that caused it to be yellow. It's probably just from the store. Um, but yeah, and you see people use these like plastic covers for their manga. Uh, don't even worry about those. Those will those won't do you any good. Cause even, even the UV rays can still go through plastic covers, and if it's humid or whatever. Your book will still absorb that humidity, and the plastic wrap around it will keep that humidity in the plastic, and it'll just make things worse. So that's why I kind of have my manga like pushed in, so there's, there's still some shade, and I have my my window kind of like angled upward, so the the light would go up instead of down towards my shelf. And uh, the visbigs, you won't have to worry about those going yellow. Their page quality is pretty high, in my opinion. Um, I don't want my closet collections to yellow because it would just look really bad. Uh, but yeah, the most common things I see with yellowing is uh, the Vis signatures tend to yellow pretty easily. Like, it doesn't really look that good on uh, on the camera, but in my uh, my view, it's pretty bad. Um, notice with my uh, my Dragon Maid manga, like a lot of my volumes are quite yellow as well. To move the Legend of Zelda manga real quick, like I noticed a lot of my a lot of all of my Dragon Maid manga are pretty yellow. So my Marchands, actually most of my Marchands are pretty white, but for some reason a lot of my Dragon Maids are yellow, which kind of it's kind of annoying since I don't know. It's I wouldn't think Seven Seas would be that bad, but I guess it is. Oh shit! Sorry. Uh, yes, yeah, some like Nisekoi. That's pretty... Well, this is an older manga, so I expect this to sit on the shelf for a while, so it probably absorbs some light over time. Uh, my Jojo manga, that's fine. Everything else down here is fine. It's the one punch man's a little yellow. But yeah, basically, short answer. Um, shade good, sunlight bad. Uh, just try to keep, keep your stuff away from sunlight, especially me, because my shelf is next to my window. Uh, and if you have blinds, angle your blinds upward so it's not light's not coming down your shelf. Your shelf has a lot of room inside, uh, just push them in. I used to have them out, but they were more exposed to sunlight that way, so I just pushed them in. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any more questions, let me know. See you guys in a bit. Bye-bye.